as you can see here, I literally have files. Since March, I've been literally recording something virtually every single day. So I've been at it. I've been at it recording videos, but I haven't been at it when it came to the editing of the videos. I gotta get the discipline because the consistency starts with discipline. Okay, be honest. How ridiculous do these look? As you can tell, a lot of people don't have discipline with a lot of things, especially on a daily basis. Like running, I should have the discipline to run, but I don't. Thanks. So now the question is, do I have the discipline to not get a donut right there? The view from this is perfect. And it's not necessarily because I'm afraid of sugar. It's just, I can't subscribe to doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, especially when it comes to health, because if I'm trying to lose weight and trying to be a little healthier, and I'm just constantly eating donuts, it's kind of counterintuitive, especially because I don't have that self-control to only eat one. Discipline. I can't tell, but it might come up as orange or yellow, because I'm Asian. I'm trying them out again, last couple times have been a failure. No. Yeah, the arugula sucks. That looks ridiculous. I'm trying out a chicken sandwich that one of my boys, Cornelius, told me about, and I'm hoping it's gonna be solid. I wasn't expecting that, but also, Dan, I agree. Latte review. Doing plain oat milk latte. Plain and oat milky. Ooh. Breakfast and fried chicken. -y. Hmm. Yo. A dirt bike cop. I haven't seen a dirt bike cop in this neighborhood in forever. Or at all. I am pleasantly surprised with that sandwich. I'm gonna have to give it with the average of uh, all the other sandwiches kind of sucking. Look at eat. What is going on? And those typically are for people who got drifted onto the water and who are missing. Look at the guy just exploring. So the only real place I've been able to even like remotely exercise discipline is at work because I always book at the top of the hour and so that's been relatively consistent. And for those who don't know, when you're an independent contractor, if you don't work, you don't make money. Hopefully this thing has a... Yeah. Pro tip. If you are in any level of a service industry, consistency is key. Whether it be your personality and how you hold yourself or the service you provide. Consistency and that discipline to maintain that kind of consistency even when you have bad days is key to building up a business because I've met a lot of barbers throughout the time that don't have that level of discipline. They're fantastic haircutters but they lack that personability and that relationship with their client and they don't have that discipline to come in even when they're having off days and those clients as much as we invest in them they will absolutely bail on you at the first slightest glance of inconvenience which there are plenty of people out there that'll find a comparable service that they don't need to give it to you pro tip and that's and that's something I'm actually pretty proud of for my career. On the way, I like this table. Is that I built, what the hell is that? I built up a reputation with my, my line of work where people can rely on me. They know I'm gonna be there and they've come back even years after to support me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that people are willing to come back 
because I built up that level of discipline and consistency with them, that they know that when they come back even five years later, they know the quality of work is gonna be there. They know the relationship is still gonna pick off where it left off at. And that's hard to find in life in general, let alone with a person of a service industry because you know, we deal with a lot of people and most of the time you forget who they are. But for me, that's where I've been able to maintain that level of discipline and consistency is with work. Now, if only I could maintain that with life. Man, life be life and Caffeine and sparkling water to the lifeblood of a barber who takes no breaks. What the fuck is in my throat? <clears throat> eh, keep your uncle out, you fucking asshole. What? Oh, ASMR. Chris is <laughs> Today was a good day. We had a lot of good conversations with the clients. I will tell you guys that in a little bit, but now I got to go back to San Mateo because I've been using my AirPods and I lost the top. Uh, you know, the Game Boy case was cute. It got stretched out, obviously, to the point where it fell off. I can't let this be. Have no fear. Ew. Found it. <laughs> it's definitely been ravaged by uh, feet. A bug just bit me right here? Yeah. Cool to talk to my clients I haven't seen literally in the last three years. I haven't seen them one bit and picking off where we left off was kind of nice. Knowing that there's a level of consistency and we're actually getting back to a level of consistency with our routine and scheduling, which is nice because being able to ensure someone coming on a regular basis it's a comfort, especially if you're an independent contractor, it's comforting knowing that there's some semblance of consistency in your work. Whereas if you're at a shop where it's not consistent, there's a lot of shops out there where you just kind of take walk-ins. And those are scary because when you have a day where there's no walk-ins, you're not making money. And when you have that level of consistency with certain clients, you can kind of easily understand what well, days won't be busy. You kind of adjust your schedule that way. And that's another pro tip for you guys. Another one of my clients, we were talking and He's feeling that burnout of work and doesn't really feel productive when he goes into the office, which also unfortunately means that his productivity level is on the down slope, which is scary for times where you don't really understand if the work you're doing means anything and it doesn't feel fulfilling to even pursue the work at that point. Everyone's going through something at some point, whether it be on my scale or his scale, everyone has something going on in their life that they have no control over and being a little more compassionate towards that. It goes a long way, especially because I gave him a chance to just decompress and talk about the trials and tribulations of his work, knowing that I'm going through my own stuff, even just to set that aside just for a little bit. He has enough impact in its own right. What's also impacting me is hunger. I am hungry. That chicken sandwich this morning was fantastic. I need something else to swell this hunger in my belly. Just trying to stay away from the sugar though trying. You know what else I'm consistently good at? Underestimating the weather because I am cold as shit. It was nice this morning though. 